Welcome to Hard Chat. I'm joined by celebrity broadcaster Steve Price. Thanks for joining me. Tom, how are you? Let's chat. Hard! <laughs> now, you did I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, and now you're doing Hard Chat. Is it safe to say you've moved on to the ironic phase of your career? I think that'd be safe to say, yes. Do you think I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here should be called I'm Not a Celebrity, That's Why I'm Here? I think that's a really good title for that show. Now, you ate some disgusting things in the jungle. Was it worse than the disgusting shit that you feed to your listeners on 2GB? I did eat some disgusting things uh, in the jungle, including uh, kudu testicles uh, and the esophagus of various animals. I had cockroaches crawling up my nose and in my ears. Yeah, well, I was that's bitten sometimes by when I listen scorpions. To the, sometimes when I listen to 2GB, I feel like I've got cockroaches crawling in my ears. I suspect you probably don't listen to 2GB at all, ever. I listen online. But... What time am I on? Uh, well, they play highlights all throughout the day. <laughs> <laughs> my point, exactly. I, I listen to all the grabs. 2GB audience is the biggest in the country and my show happens to be number one in both Sydney and Melbourne. In the jungle, Nazim Hussain opened your eyes up to the pressures Muslims are under. Do you realise that for the past several years you've been working on the project where you sit next to one? Um, Carrie Bickmore is a Muslim. I mean, Walid. Oh, Walid Ali. Like, he's been under all this pressure sitting next to you and you hadn't noticed. And in fact, I called Nazim Hussein, Nazim Mohammed Hussein, Walid three times in the first week that I was in the jungle with him, which gave rise to him suggesting that I really only knew one Muslim and that Muslim's name was Walid. So, yes, is... I did know Walid was a Muslim. Now that you've got a Muslim friend, is it easier to be racist? Two Muslim friends, and I've never been racist. You came across as a nice guy on I'm a Celebrity. Deep down, though, are you still an arsehole? No, I think deep down I really am a nice guy. Right, so are you a nice guy trapped in an arsehole's body? I'm a nice guy trapped in an aggressive person's body. Uh, the other word, the A word, I wouldn't use on the ABC. Arsehole. I don't even like using the word arsehole. I think it's... One. Uh, you can use it in a PG it, slot. You should rip into it on the project. G'day, arseholes. The price is here. Cheap and poorly thought out oh, descriptor. Okay. I'll try to be more clever and That's, up to your standard, Steve. That'd be good. Should there have been a warning to people eating their dinner when you took off your shirt on the project? I think taking my shirt off on the project was very stupid. And yes, there should have been a warning to people who were perhaps sitting around the dinner table because you don't really need to see uh, a 62-year-old man half naked on a television show. Yeah, especially if you're eating some pork belly. <laughs> You've said that you enjoy upsetting people. Are you aware that that makes you a sociopath? I used to enjoy upsetting people. I'm now a changed person. I now enjoy the fact that I've actually given people something to laugh at. By accident. By design. <laughs> now, you're quite short. Am I? Yes. Uh, I don't know what size has got to do with anything. Well, you seem to really care about it when it came to ratings just before. <laughs> I think size really matters to you. Uh, numbers... In fact, some would suggest maybe you're trying to compensate for something. Numbers matter. I'm not sure size matters. All right, Steve Price, thanks for chatting. Hard! It's been a pleasure. <laughs>